Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Katie and today we are unboxing Upcrate and doing the Upcrate battle. Before we get into things, if you haven't already, please make sure you have subscribed and have those lovely notifications turned on so you don't miss any more videos like this one. So let's get into it, shall we? Well, it definitely doesn't look like pencils because please no more pencil sticker, which I thought was hilarious. I noticed we have some Spectrum Noir pens, a little variety pack there, but the most unusual thing is oil paints. We also have a gesso board, a rag to clean the brushes on, two brushes, a metallic paint palette, as well as stickers and print. This month's featured artist is Clementine St. John Webster and I really like that painting. I love all the different tonal values there and it will be going on the wall with all my other prints when I move house. We also get some hints and tips to use our materials in the magazine and of course the lovely sticker sheet. Right, let's talk about what we've got then, shall we? The three markers that we have have been given, as I guess, some sort of compensation for the coloured pencil box that we had. I didn't have any problems myself with the leads breaking, however I do believe quite a few of you guys out there did, and I think that's really good of Upcrate to just bundle in something by means as a thank you. We have two alcohol markers, one in black and that has a brush tip and a fine end. A chisel tip which is in the colour of fuchsia and we also have an aqua dual tip in turquoise. Now I don't believe these are part of the box as such but I'm going to use them anyway. The oil paints we have are the Van Gogh oil colours and they come in Madder Lake Deep cadmium yellow light, ultramarine and titanium white. We have two different brushes, one by Lineo and that's like a little round brush in the size. One as well as a Borsiani Bonazzi brush, I hope I've said that correctly, which is a cat tongue shape in the size number six. And this month's upgrade challenge is reflection. Now, I was massively debating whether to do this or just unbox it or I'm not really sure because oil paints can take forever to dry. But then I changed my mind and I thought, well, I might as well just do it and I'm just going to have to find a way of transporting this wet painting when I move. I first started off by drawing a circle and working in the details inside. I'm actually going to use a bubble, I've used a reference of Pexels for this and I thought that would be a great way to, guess, I guess, create some sort of reflection. I used the Black Spectrum Noir marker to add a background colour. I didn't think I would be able to achieve something dark enough using the colours we had and I thought, well, at least we get to use them. The gesso board has a slight texture to it but I did find when I was going over it with that pen it was very smooth and there were no hiccups but it did take a couple of coats to have a really deep layer. You'll also notice that I pulled out my bottle of Zest It which is used to blend coloured pencils but it also does mention wax and oil pastels so I figured well, if I need to clean the brush that's what I'm going to use as I don't have any turpentine in at the moment. Using that ultramarine oil colour, I went and blended it in with that black background and I am really pleased with how that worked. I don't know if it mixed in with the alcohol marker beneath it and brought it to back to life again. I'm not sure because I did move that brush onto some whiter areas of the board and there was no black smudging, but I really like how it flattened everything out. I did this and covered in all of what I'm going to say is the negative space and then that leaves a nice fresh white background for those lighter colours. Now I do believe you are to use your very lightest colours last and your darkest colours first so that's the complete opposite of watercolours which I'm used to. Now I have done oil painting in the past quite a few years ago now and I, I do enjoy doing it and I have recently bought some water mixable ones which I wanted to show on this channel but that, that's going to have to wait for a little while. I like oils because you can wipe any mistakes off and you can be pretty forgiven for making a few mistakes with them too. However the downsides on using proper oils is the fumes. Now I, I can tolerate them for a while, however I, I kind of don't like the idea of my dog breathing them in, 
So that's kind of why I don't use them very often and I went and purchased some more to mixable ones. However, these will make their way up to my other studio once everything in my life is organised. <laughs> The brushes that were in this box were lovely and soft and really nice to blend with. You didn't need to put a lot of paint on there either, just a small little blob on the brush has quite a huge colour yield which I guess I, I guess I've forgot since the last time I used them. I really like the fact we had primary colours as well, I think that's so useful, especially as I imagine quite a lot of people haven't used oils or you don't use them very often, so this is a great, I guess introduction to them. Okay there is no black oil paint but I think if you use those mark pens in a similar way and incorporate the paint on top you can still achieve a nice painterly effect there. So at the moment this bubble does look a little bit odd. It, it looks like I guess some random planet in a faraway corner of the universe but this is where adding the reflections come in. After adding those base layers of colour in there, and again I didn't use a heavy coat, it was time to start adding those highlights and reflections. I used a neat white to go around the outline, as well as just adding a few lens glares on there as well on various parts of the bubble. I quite liked how the white paint just sat on top of the area and if I had more time to do this and it was a longer project I would probably wait for that layer beneath to completely dry out before adding any more on top. It usually takes a couple of weeks to be workable but I haven't got that at the moment so away we went and it was still okay. It did bring a little bit of the layers underneath to light but again just layering that up wasn't a problem and you can see as well how easy it was to wipe the mistake off there. A little bit of white paint had contaminated my brush and onto the ultramarine and just using a q-tip to remove that it, it was no problem at all and then I went in and blended the rest. I really appreciated the fact that we had quite a smooth board to work on. I think working on such a small scale with something as textured as a canvas, I don't think it would have been as an enjoyable experience as this was for me. I'm not a huge painter on canvases, I find the texture just alters how I want something to look and I get a little bit impatient with it and if I'm going to do oils I'll probably use a oil paper or maybe some primed MDF and I find that holds it really nicely and I can have a really nice smooth blend but everyone's different. I'm sure if I use this medium more often I would probably delve into using canvas and probably learn some new techniques where I can take advantage of that texture. I really liked the little palette that came with this as well. Normally I would just leave it as is and let them colours dry. I think I've separated off the tones that I wanted so I would just let it dry and then when it came to using it again I'd just top those colours up and add a bit of my terps or whatever mixing medium I was using. I've known artists to use old china plates for years and years and years and they become a little masterpiece of their own as those layers of paint have built up. And speaking of built up, all of those reflective layers are on there, it's just time for the signature and we are all done. It's not the most extravagant piece I've done on my channel but I actually really enjoyed doing this. It was nice to re-familiarise myself with how nicely oil paints blend and if you squint your eyes enough it does look like a bubble. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this box, whether you've had it yourself or if you're just forming an opinion from watching this video. And speaking of videos, I just want to say thank you for watching this one. There should be more on screen now that I think you're going to enjoy too. In the meantime, I will see you lovely lot on the next video. Bye!